Welcome back to another video and today we are going through the makeup news that has come out recently so we will be going through some releases that I have found interesting and also some announcement of future products so let's get to the video. So as always there will be the product picture somewhere on the screen for you to see. So the first product we are talking about today is the Wet n Wild 2023 holiday release. So there's quite a lot in this collection and uh, Wet n Wild is a brand that there are few, there might be uh, one or two supermarket chains that uh, sell it where I live and it is, it's not as affordable as it is in the US but it's still like from the affordable end of drugstore makeup that's available in my country. And regarding the holiday collection itself, I'm also not sure will the holiday collection come because I have seen that uh, they we sort of have gotten the like permanent uh, product line launches from them. Uh, however, with limited edition stuff, those have been very random, which have come here. So uh, I'm not sure sure will this be available. However, I still thought I would talk about it because I know, for example, if you're from the US, that this is something that is going to be readily available for you. But regarding the holiday collection itself, I think my favorites from it, like first of all the packaging, it's it's very cute. I mean, it is quite inexpensive looking because Wet n Wild is a more inexpensive brand, so it all comes in this typical plastic packaging and uh, see-through packaging because I know that in US you don't for some reason get testers on drugstore drugstore products, so that's why everything has to be have a clear cover if it's sold on store. Uh, aside from the packaging, I think for me the most interesting products in this collection were the blushes and highlighters. I think those looked, uh, there were some quite nice shades in them. And like I said, the packaging is very adorable. The eyeshadow palettes were a bit meh and I was initially quite confused when I saw all the eyeshadow palettes because quite a lot of them looked very similar with each other. So that was a bit confusing and also the shades are quite neutral tone leaning there are like a few pops of colors here and there so not something that i would be interested in i have actually have tried wet and wild products in the past and uh, my favorite i think were their highlighter i think it was the one that was very popular on youtube like uh, before the whole pandemic and everything uh, the eyeshadow palette, I had one of them. I wasn't such a fan. It was like, okay, but I have tried better from the drugstore. Uh, aside from the eyeshadow palettes and cheek products, there are some makeup brushes also in this. However, those look, look like the brushes that they have in their permanent line, only that these brushes have this sort of like special holiday uh, images in them. And also there are some lip kits that include, I'm not sure, sure is it a gloss or a liquid lip, lip, lip <laughs> liquid lipstick, but there is also like a lip liner. So I think the lip kits, lip kits are nice, but the colors were very typical and not something that, again, I would be interested in. But if you see this in store, and especially if you live in US, these could be very good affordable options for holiday makeup for you. And like I said, I do think the cheap products that come with this collection were actually quite nice looking. Next launches that we will be talking about are from one of my favorite indie brands available here in Europe and these are the new Glam Shop launches. So the Glam Shop actually they have a habit or have had a habit of recently that they launch quite a lot at one time. And the two launches that I will be talking about first is that they finally came out with their advent calendar for this year. And for someone who uh, like probably you don't know yet, but I love advent calendars. I know makeup advent calendars and skincare advent calendars, they sort of divide people. And I have always said that never buy an advent calendar if it's there's only like one product that you want from them, then just go and buy the product itself. However, I think for me, advent calendars have been fun that there has been some products that I have generally wanted, but there's also been products that I have been like interested to try out. And I think for people like me, those are very good if you are prepared for the fact that there are products that you new products that you get to try and some products that you actually want however i have always said that if you only want one product then just buy that single product and don't waste your money on advent calendar however for me this year i usually have been making my choices between the look fantastic and the glossy box advent calendars those are advent calendars that are quite easily available for the most european countries and those usually have had quite a good variation. However, this year, neither of the calendars, as I have checked them, weren't, 
haven't been really getting me excited. But when a glam shop announced their advent calendar for this year, I immediately knew that this was it. So the price of it is 112 euros plus the shipping. And I have said before that even though it's a European indie brand, for some reason the glam shop shipping, shipping is a bit high. So for me, if I will buy this, the uh, final price will be somewhere in 130 euros because the shipping is like 15 euros traditionally if you order from Poland to here. But uh, regarding the variation like this, I think is for a makeup lover, a perfect calendar. There is some skincare this year because Glam Shop, I think this year they sort of launched their skincare line. However, I have actually, of course, looked at what the calendar includes. So because I even though it's kind of meant to be a surprise, but I still want to know what I'm getting. So there is some skincare in it. However, I do think the products are quite uh, the skincare products that looked something that I will be able to use up even if I would not like want to rebuy them and there is a very good very good amount of makeup in it and there's a very good variation of makeup products in general in the calendar so that is the reason why this is definitely a yes for me and something that I will be ordering and I'm actually very I think it's a quite good value for money money if you're looking for an advent calendar that is quite makeup focused with some skincare. So next release that Glam Shop came out with was their sort of, I think this is their fall collection. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name of this collection because this is only in Polish. However, the theme of the collection, as you can probably see from the images here, and if you have checked their promotional uh, videos and materials on uh, social media, is that it's this quite whimsical forest themed, which is a bit surprising because at this point of the year we are getting to October and in... Europe, it is getting a bit colder, of course, uh, Poland, it's not that far away from north, but uh, still it is like we are past the like really warm summer fa phase already. So I was a bit surprised that they, this, for example, wasn't, that they didn't come out this way, for, for example, in early summer when there's usually like a lot of flowers blooming. But nevertheless, I do actually like this collection a lot. So the eyeshadow palette is a quite, this sort of neutral palette with some pops of muted colors. And I think that the color combinations they chose for this palette, I think the colorful shades that they put in this, they actually go really well together with the neutrals. Uh, what I'm excited about this, and there's a pattern here clearly, again, just like with the Wet and Wild, uh, I actually, the cheek products are something that I am excited for. So the glowy blushes that come, have come out with this uh, collection look very nice. The highlighter I immediately saw when I saw the swatches and photo, that's gonna be too icy for me. So. Uh, that's something that I'm gonna skip. Also the lip products, they have this sort of lip crayon types of products. The couple of rosy shades and then there was the more li one lilac -y shade in these. Uh, those also look something that I would be interested to try. So the I think because I will be buying the advent calendar, I don't know yet will I get this or maybe wait for a sale because Glam Shop does run sales relatively. Well, not that often, but they do run sales and there is Black Friday coming. And even though Black Friday is an American, it's an American uh, sales campaign. It like still everyone does Black Friday also here in like most of the European online stores and makeup resellers do Black Friday offers. So this is something that with the, this collection, I might actually wait for the Black Friday because I am prioritizing now getting the advent calendar because I do know that the Glam Shop advent calendar that does uh, has sold out every every year, so they don't have unlimited amount of stock of that. But after I, I've gotten the calendar and see that what else I might want to get, because we are now moving to November. So if there is a space in my makeup budget, then I might also order this collection. But anyway, I mean, it's now available and I do still think it's quite a pretty collection. And uh, as I have said before, before, I would definitely recommend the Glam Shop quality. Okay, so this product is here purely for, purely for the laughs and giggles. So Laura Geller came out with a new palette and this has 31 shades of baked eyeshadow. And uh, when I saw this, I had to really think that are we back in 2016 again when this baked eyeshadow was very trendy. And I mean, when I actually looked at the palette, there are like very many shades of sim similar beige nude colors. So um, it's like definitely, I you know I'm not getting this and Laura, Laura Geller I think is a brand that I don't think I can't even get to easily. I, I don't know, is there any like European retailers for her brand? But uh, yeah, 
this was just like uh, here for the laws. Like if you love this, then sure get it. But honestly, and uh, every time like when you say that there's or like over thirty shades of something or over fifty shades of something, there's always the question whether or not the quality is consistent. And if you really look at this palette, there are a lot of repeating shades in this. So. This is not my cup of tea and I'm not getting it, but if you like it or if you like the brand's quality, then sure, I'm sure it's very good value for money, but just be aware that there's very many repetitive shades in this one palette. Natasha Denona finally released her midi xenon palette. So Natasha Denona has had a bit of an issue and she has had this a lot that her products like leak way like months before she's releasing them. And I believe the xenon was leaked uh, I think I have seen the first leaked images of the Xenon palette in some makeup forums like already in the beginning of the fall and then after that there was also the leak with the mini sized uh, triacomb uh, palette and then the baby sized bronze palette and I was surprised that they actually released the bronze and the mini triochrome like before the Xenon because I think the Xenon had leaked like way earlier than those two but regarding the Xenon palette itself, like there's now a lot of reviews on this on YouTube. So first before buying, watch some reviews. However, I'm not getting this. Like this would probably be a good palette if you would like to get a lot of views on YouTube or in social media now. However, I don't do smoky eyes a lot because I'm quite pale. So with most black, very like deep black and gray shades, it just looks like I have panda eyes. And also before you buy this, I would really... I think that unless you only do like this very, very like uh, dark smoky looks constantly, I think most people would actually manage with that mini Xeno that this palette is uh, inspired or like based by. Because I have now seen like a lot of uh, influencer looks with this. I have also watched the looks that Natasha Dinona has done on her own official social media channels. and. They just look very similar, even though this is a bigger palette. And I think especially what's painfully obvious with this one, that there's only so much you can do if you have blacks and grays and silvers. So she has gotten quite a lot of critique lately that her bigger palettes are the, or the mid-sized in this kit, because I don't think she has released like one of the big expensive ones for some time now. But with the midi size palettes, even though there are a lot of shades in them, that those shades do, there are a lot of shades that dupe each other. However, with this particular palette, I think that it is quite, uh, it's a quite uh, pressing issue. So, yeah, it, it's not for me. However, if this is absolutely your dream palette and you love your smoky eyes, and for example, you have the mini scene on and you constantly use it up, then probably this is a good palette because at least then you have some uh, similar shades and you don't have to like go and constantly buy another smoky eye uh, like uh, a repurchase but for me this is a no and like i said i would really consider before before buying this that would actually the mini xenon or any other like a smoky uh, smaller palette be enough to get the same amount of looks that you most likely will get with this one Next, let's, let's talk about Colourpop. So Colourpop is a US-based, more affordable drugstore brand or wellness drugstore. They originally launched as only online only brand, but now I know that they're, for example, in the States, you can buy them at Ulta and I believe at least from Target. Uh, Colourpop is a brand that also I used to order from. So back in the day when I was in university and particularly here in Europe, where we didn't at that time have that many good affordable options, um, it's still a bit meh in terms of affordable makeup, but it has gotten better from my university times. So it was worth to order Colourpop and wait for the long shipping times because the quality was just so much better considering what we were able to get here, even if you had to pay for the uh, sort of value-added tax that you have to pay when you import anything from outside of the European Union. However, these days and also the way that my makeup preferences have changed because Colourpop comes out with so much. So by the time, because it get, almost takes like four weeks if there is like no issues with the shipping times or anything. So by the time I get Colourpop stuff here, they have like launched already like four or five new collections. So it's not really like worthy for me to order Colourpop considering that what I can get much more quickly locally. Okay, yeah, sorry, where were we? Apologies, my husband just came home, so he had some business to do in our kitchen, which I'm using for filming, so sorry about the interruption. 
But anyway, regarding the collection itself, so there was an eyeshadow palette and I believe there were some super shadows also included in this. And what I immediately thought when I saw this that, oh, this looks a bit familiar. So I thought that uh, if the Natasha Dinona Zenon's colors were like washed out, then it actually could be something like this. But actually, when you really look at this, it's a neutral, cool toned uh, palette. There are like some, I think one of the shades looks like it's a bit shifty, but I think uh, a lot of these uh, shades that Colourpops makes look in their promotional images that they shift, they have actually been quite uh, normal shimmers if you look reviews about the palettes. But I think if you particularly live in States and Colourpop is easily accessible for you, then this could be a really good, affordable, uh, cool toned, neutral color option and even though I no longer buy from Colourpop because of the long shipping times and also the additional cost of the importing the palettes I do think their quality is quite uh, sto quite solid and it's definitely something that I would recommend if you're looking for a more affordable brand to buy from. Next is a holiday collection that will be easy for me to get so Essence just released their holiday collection and these should be coming to stores in most areas in Europe where Essence is retailed uh, quite soon. I think at first they will be releasing this in Germany because Essence is a German based brand and then it will trickle through the rest of the retailers. And I, I can't say will this be for example available in, North, available in North America because I have noticed that a lot of collections that seem to release here they usually come like half a year later and there is some uh, mismatch between stuff that's released in Europe and re then released in North America. So, but uh, for the European uh, customers, this will be available before Christmas. And so about this collection, like it's very cute. Uh, there isn't like anything particular that I need from this collection. However, Essence is also quite affordable. The Dear Lip Balm, for example, I was like immediately when I saw this that I definitely don't need this, but it's so freaking cute. Uh, the highlighter was uh, something else that did caught my eye, however, as you can probably see from the image, it is going to be too dark for me because it is this almost like reddish orange, orange, a uh, really dark shade. Something that I am a bit curious about is the liquid blush. So I believe this is an imitation that a lot of uh, more affordable brands have taken from the Lancome blushes that originally uh, I think that's already quite an old product from Lancome uh, that a lot of now the more affordable brands have taken the packaging inspiring from inspiration from. So I, for example, know that Profusion, I actually own two of the liquid blushes that come in this sort of similar packaging. But I do actually think that the essence, the color they chose for this is actually quite a good one. It's this more sort of a um, darker, darker rosy color, which I think is quite quite something different, especially after the bright pink blushes that we have been seeing a lot this year. But anyway, there's also some other stuff in this collection, but for me, like the Dear Lip Balm and then the uh, Liquid Blush were like the highlights of this, but I'm not so sure, sure if I'm gonna get any of it, but it's very cute to watch. And if it's something interests you and it's available, then it should be very affordable to buy. We have a new influencer makeup launch, so um, Manny MUA launched a new palette in his Lunar Beauty line. So this, I believe, and now I have to look, actually look at my notes. Yeah, Siren Sunset, I believe, is the name of the palette. And I believe there's also some liquid lipsticks or something else that comes with this, but we are talking mainly about the palette here. So I think this is a very smart launch. So it's a palette with neutrals combined with some greens, uh, greens, blues and purples. And I have tried one Lunar Beauty palette in the past. It was the one that had the, I believe it's a Medusa, Medusa on the cover. It was this sort of Greek goddess inspired like more neutral palette. And I did actually like the quality. And Lunar Beauty uh, is sold through Monolith so Shop and they used to be sold through Beauty Bay, but I know that Beauty Bay, I don't think, has restocked their stuff for quite a long time now. So for a European re European customers, I would wait that uh, because Monolith will most likely get this. You can order this from directly from uh, the Lunar Beauty website, but I don't know what the shipping times and shipping costs to Europe are currently. So see which option is more easy for you. But uh, I know that the Lunar Beauty quality is very solid and I think if the color story is something that interests you or you just want to support Manny because I know he has many fans 
and so it you could buy it and i don't think lunar beauty is that expensive i believe the palettes have retailed somewhere between like 50 and 60 euros depending how many shades they have had so i think for an uh, indie independently owned brand it's also relatively affordable well not affordable but decently priced and the quality is quite good so I'm not sure, sure when this is gonna be launching, so check uh, check on many Manny's uh, social media and also from Lunar Beauty social media. But definitely congratulations, Manny, from another launch. And uh, if you like the color story, then at least I can recommend that the quality of it will probably be very good. So after quite many, I think this is another palette that has been leaked a few times, and then I believe Huda actually postponed the launch of this. So. This is the Pretty Grunge palette from Huda Beauty and um, I think I have seen the first images of this also somewhere in the beginning of the fall or already I think at the beginning of this year. Like this is a palette that like leaked very early and I think many people were wondering when she's gonna actually come out with this one. But this collection is available now uh, and I think in most places that Huda Beauty is uh, retailing for and uh, I was actually, uh, when I saw the first images, I think many people were like, oh great, Huda is finally coming out with a cool toned color story. However, Huda has a very um, sort of habit of putting actually like these sort of pink, more pink and warm tones in palettes that initially might look that they are actually uh, more cool toned or something other. And then when you actually get the palette, there is actually quite a lot of pink and warm tones in it. And now that I have actually seen, seen the official swatch pictures of the palette, this is more purple and pink and warm leaning than what initially the palette might have looked like or some of the promotional photos that makes it look, it does have some blacks and silvers, but actually I would, if you're planning to buy this, maybe go see it in store and see how the colors actually look like in real life, because this is not the first time Huda has done this, that the palettes look a bit different on online, and then actually when you get it, there's a lot of pinks and warm tones in it. Uh, I think maybe for someone who wants these sort of warmer pinky neutrals and wants some black and black and silver and grungy colors, then this could be a good option. And Huda's quality, particularly with these big palettes, is very solid. I, I like her, the formula in her bigger palettes, and I would definitely like recommend them in terms of quality. The pricing of this, I think the pricing with Huda palettes has gone up a bit, but I do believe that you can still get this for 60 something euros. I'm, I haven't checked from Cult Beauty yet how, how much the euro price of this is, but it is more on the expensive side, but definitely I think quality, in terms of quality, a brand that I could recommend. But if you have the possibility, go and check this in store so you're not buying this thinking that it's something and then when you get it, it's actually something else. Oh my god, we have another Kiko Milano launch, and uh, yeah, so Kiko launched their holiday collection finally, I think um, many of us knew this was coming, and it was actually a bit random that they came out with this 17th inspired collection that wasn't actually in terms of colors for 17th inspired, but I think many of us expected that the holiday launch was going to be next, and then they came out with the 17th launch, and we were like over and over wondering when is the holiday launch going to come, and now they have launched the stuff, so... As you can see for the in the picture that it's going to be showing, there is a lot again, and Kiko always launches a lot. However, before you buy any of this, please check if you are a person who has a lot of Kiko Milano makeup, check that do you, you, you probably have these. You might even have like the same products just in different packaging, because Kiko is notorious for relaunching same colors and similar types of products, they just do the packaging a bit differently. So for the products themselves and what I have looked at, what might interest, it in, interest me, I'm actually going to a work trip into a country very soon or where it actually might be because I'm pre-filming that when this video goes up. So I'm going to a country that has a Kiko store and I might get some things. And for me, what I think most interesting are the sort of striped blushes and I even might consider getting some, one of the bronzers if it's a shade that fits me. And I don't own a bronzer from Kiko, so might as well get it from this collection because, again, like I said, they have a habit of re-releasing the stuff in different packaging constantly. 
I also think that uh, some one of the lipsticks that have the sparkle in them, I think one of those would be cute. However, all of the lipsticks are quite of these uh, more sort of uh, brighter colors. And I'm a person who actually likes more neutral lipsticks because I do like a more colorful eye. So the lipsticks are definitely something I would like to swatch in store and see how bright they are actually in real life before buying them. The eyeshadow palettes are quite boring. I would actually like to see that the shimmer palettes, what the formula feels like, but I don't really need a separate shimmer palette if it's just like normal shimmers. But it is, it's something new for Kiko, so that's why I would like to go and try the formula and see what it's like. The big eyeshadow palette, unfortunately, this is like, I think this is quite dull even for Kiko because the Christmas palette that I have from last year that had I think some more bit interesting shades even though that already was quite neutral leaning but the the big palette this year it's quite it's quite dull looking so yeah blushes bronzer might get lipsticks might get if I feel like it but the rest of the collection looks quite same what we have gotten. I definitely think for example that the double side eye pencils that come in this collection those are like repeat products. I think they have had those in their other holiday collection or some other limited edition collection before. But this is now available in Europe. It should be available in Europe in Kiko stores and also online. However, I don't know the availability of this in the States yet because I know that Ulta in States does sell Kiko, but I do believe that they might, they do get the collections a bit later. So don't know what the situation in terms of North America is, but in Europe, this is now available and if there's something you like, it's a decently priced. Kiko is not the most affordable drugstore brand, but it is still on the more affordable side. And I have always said that the quality is very consistent, so you will get a good quality product. It's just that you might already have them if you have a lot of Kiko products in your collection. Okay, the next palette is something that I purely want because it reminds me of a palette that sort of got away. So Ace Beauté came out with this sort of very unpromoted, uh, unhyped uh, launch. So they launched this sort of very Valentine's themed looking palette. And I believe the name of this is Mystic Romance. And uh, this has already launched in Ace Beauty website. And I'm gonna wait to see if this comes on Monolith, unavailable in Monolith shop. And if it does, this might be a product that might end up in my cart. And why I said that this is, reminds me of something that got away. So. I will try to see if I can find an old picture, but this reminds me a lot of the Beauty Bay Valentine's Day palette that Beauty Bay released. I think it's already like three or four years ago, and I believe that palette it was one of their it was one of their limited edition palettes, and that was a palette that I do. It didn't sell out like uh, like super quickly. I believe it was in stock for quite quite a good time, but at the time. There was, I think there were other makeup products that I chose to buy and why I just didn't get this. But for me, when I immediately saw this, I was like that, well, I didn't get the Beauty Bay palette back then. I actually, and I actually haven't tried Ace Beauty and I have heard that their reformulated formula is actually very good. So it's an indie brand I would be curious to buy, but it's not an indie brand that I'm going to order all the way from US because again of the shipping times and additional cost. But if this becomes available in Monolith Shop, and I do know that Ace Beauty is again one of the indie brands that is not as expensive as some of the others are, so this might end up going to my cart if if it happens that there are, isn't anything else that I want more. And because this reminds me so much about the Beauty Bay palette that I didn't get back then, but which afterwards I thought that it would have actually been a very me color story. But if you live in States or just want to order this from the uh, US, uh, regardless of the shipping cost or any additional cost, then it's, I think, now available and uh, a very pretty color story. Last product of day. So Juvia's Place came out with these. Uh, I believe these are like lip glosses that are in a stick format. And I believe these are meant to dupe the makeup by Mario or, or even the Tarte sort of uh, clicky pen that you have to sort of push in then like this, that uh, the Maracuja, I believe, lip gloss is. And I looked at the shade range and it actually looks like a very, very nice product and a good, a good, good dupe for the Mario ones. And I do believe these are advertised as volumizing lip glosses, so just maybe look for some reviews are these the sort of lip if these are volumizing lip glosses that are the kind that actually like burn your lips or something maybe before buying because i know some of them we all know that two-faced lip glosses that make your 
lips burn off basically, but uh, this could be just that the volumizing means that they plump your lips a little bit, but uh, they don't feel like burning, you don't get the burning sensation, but the change range of this looks very pretty. Uh, unfortunately, Juvia's Place is another one of those US brands that it's a bit harder for us in Europe to get, so Beauty Bay used to stock them. And I do believe before pandemic there was a lot of rumors that they might be starting a EU-based uh, website. However, uh, I do believe that that hasn't uh, happened yet and I haven't since heard that is it something that they are still actively planning, which is very unfortunate because I do think that General Juvia's Place has has quite many of these sort of interesting products uh, at a good price that I would, for example, like to try, but I just don't want to go through the hassle of ordering them all the way from the States. But if you live in North America, then these could be actually a very good uh, products to try out. And generally, I do think Juvia's Place runs really good sales quite often. And now that Black Friday is coming, so maybe this could be something that if you're planning to make a bigger order, then you could throw this into your cart. But like I said, the shades look very lovely. They have uh, these sort of neutral and pinky shades, which which are shades that I like. And generally, I do believe the quality of Juvia's Place product is quite good. So um, available now if you want to get them. And definitely, I think if you're looking for this sort of gl good gloss products, then these could be a good option. Those were all the products for today. So what did you think about them? Were there some products that I didn't mention that you are excited about of uh, becoming available soon? Uh, are you already over or the holiday, le holiday releases? Because we are still quite getting quite a lot of Christmas releases and now we're entering November, which is the time I think that, that sort of the last holiday product should start being announced because then when we get into November and because I know a lot of people shop shop holiday gifts already on the Black Friday sales, which are like usually at the end of November, even though I do believe that this year we might get again Black Friday sales beginning, beginning already in the beginning of November, so in a couple of weeks time when this video is being filmed. So yeah, comment down below, is there something that you are interested in getting or are you on a no buy or are you still waiting for something more exciting to come that you're planning to spend your money on November or on December? Thank you for spending time watching this video. If you liked the video, press the like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to get notifications from my other videos, then press the bell button. Also, I am on the Instagram. You can find the, me on Instagram with the same nickname. So it's Makeup Hedgehog and I do co post also content, post content there daily. But other than that, I hope you're having a good day and I hope I see you again soon. Bye bye.